On Saturday, February 6th, we will have the moon in Sagittarius all day. We're very thankful for that. We need that after a couple of stormy days in the week. And what makes things even more extra is that the moon will be sextiling Jupiter. So Jupiter, as I mentioned, is the ruler over the Sagittarian energy. Jupiter is in Aquarius right now, which is just a beautiful thing. But what we want to take note of is that any time that Jupiter is in play, it magnifies everything because Jupiter wants us to grow and Jupiter wants us to expand past our current viewpoint past our current vibration and position in the world. And with the moon in Sagittarius, that's our emotions. And yes, we might be feeling fiery. We might be feeling adventurous. We might feel like we have ants in our pants because we just want to get out and experience the world. We're optimistic. We're confident. We are so positive about things. But then with this extra Jupiter aspect, we can overdo things. We can overcommit. We can overexert ourselves. We can overwhelm ourselves. We can be overly confident, overly positive. You, you see the common denominator here, which is the word over. And because that word over means that we've taken things too far, it's a sure sign that we have to keep ourselves in a realistic mindset as we move through the energies of the day. Now, Venus is a major player here today. Venus will be conjunct sitting next to Saturn, the Lord of Karma himself. Now, Saturn is in Aquarius now, thankfully. Lord, 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 we thank we thank you for that. Um, Saturn, especially being in its place of power in Capricorn for the last two years, was a doozy. That's why most of us had a lot of really tough love life lessons thrown at us. Not saying Saturn is going to let up because there's always lessons to be learned when Saturn is in play, but Venus sitting right next to Saturn is definitely going to bring up some relationship issues. I want to remind you, Mercury is retrograde. These issues are coming back up. They're resurfacing because now we get to take a second glance at them. We have to rework them. We have to kind of retrace our steps, so to speak. And a lot of these relationship issues are coming in the form of either feeling restricted, held back. Maybe the person that you're with is not encouraging you to bust free of your old life, of your old construct. Maybe they are the ones holding you back from truly moving forward and being in alignment with who it is that you are trying to be. We are seeing where we are stuck in patterns, especially where our relationships are concerned. And if you're someone who isn't in an intimate relationship, this is definitely going to show us those sadder emotions, that negative Nancy narrative in our mental planes about why we're going to be single forever, why we're going to die alone, why nobody is interested in us. And I just want to throw out there that any time that we kind of get stuck in a lower vibration, focusing on what it is that we're lacking, we need to take that and use that as a framework to see what it is we actually want to invite into our realm. So if you're sitting around feeling lonely and feeling sad about the fact that you're single and you don't have anybody to share your life with, instead of getting so far down in that murkiness in that darker energy of like why me and it's never going to happen and it's totally impossible flip that use that to create a list of the qualities and characteristics that you want to see embodied in a physical human being so that you can recognize the right kind of people when they enter into your realm for the kind of partnership potential that you're actually looking for. Regardless, we're going to have some relationship issues resurface for us. Are they going to feel good? No, Saturn's in play. Saturn doesn't usually let us feel too good for too long. And to make matters even more complex, Venus will be sextiling Chiron, which even though a sextile is a good energy, Chiron is the wounded healer planetoid here. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to take some good look at our wounds that we've either accumulated from past relationships or that we're currently sitting in 
projecting ourselves onto our current relationships. So although the potential is here to heal past our present situation and present vibration, it's not going to happen fast because Saturn's in play. Saturn is low and slow, testing the foundation, testing our thoughts, testing our emotions. And then Venus goes ahead and squares Uranus. That is a sudden zap in our mental planes, a sudden shakeup in our physical realms that likely will put the spotlight on our relationships, our routines, our money matters, and our basic wants, needs, and desires, especially where love is concerned. Now, we do have the sun trining the true note. At the same time, we have the moon opposing the true node. So as you can see, this is extreme points of view. This is extreme ways of thinking. This is extreme ways of feeling. And we can likely feel those polarities all within an hour of one another. It is literally sitting in one emotion, having a thought that busts us out of that emotion, and then we find a balance point. Then something else will happen or an idea will pop into your head or you will have a flashback or a memory of some sort. And suddenly we are all up in our feels again and we might be in a lower vibration and then something will happen in our mental planes, kind of giving us an opportunity to review and to reflect on that with a new fresh set of eyes. And then suddenly we see how to move past that. So it is going to be an ebb and flow, a very delicate dance of energies and the one thing that I will say to you, how do we navigate this? Self-love, self-care. Venus, she's a goddess and she's a major, major competitor here today. What she does best is love. Love herself. She's a goddess. Why would she not love herself? So if you are feeling caught up with the energy of the day, if you are feeling all up in your feels in a negative sense, if you are, you know, all just cluster effed in your head, not being able to make sense of anything, I invite you to take a bath. I invite you to go get a massage. I invite you to sit back with a warm cup of tea and read a book. Why? Because Venus loves herself first and foremost. All the relationship drama that happens in your life is a direct reflection of the relationship that you have with yourself. So if you are feeling unloved by somebody, you best amp up the self-love that you have for yourself, raise that vibration, raise that frequency, show the universe what kind of love and respect you want from other people in your realm. And you set that example by giving it to yourself first and foremost. So a couple of ascension symptoms that I would like for you to be cautiously aware of as we move throughout this week. Because we're in Aquarius season, because Mercury just went retrograde, those are two major contributing factors for our whole mental plane. It is the lower level and the higher level intellect. Because of this, there's going to be a lot of head pressure, maybe even some dizziness. Our third eyes are open and processing information differently. So this means could be sinus issues. It just could be a dull headache. It could be a pain in the neck region. There's just a lot of, of tabs and windows open in our mental plane, in our brain. We're processing a lot. Just because you can't focus on, you know, one particular complete thought doesn't mean that your subconscious isn't sorting through a lot of the information that it needs to sort through. So we're going to feel a lot of pressure, a lot of dizziness, a lot of little, you know, zaps of energy in our heads. We are also going to be feeling a little bit of an energy surge. This can kind of manifest in anxiety in heart palpitations, in restlessness. Um, and it's not all the time. It's not a full-time jo job here. It's just like spasms. Like let's say for instance, because Mars is activated and Mars is frustrated as hell right now. Anytime Mars is activated, we're going to get a rush of energy in our physical bodies. It could feel like we could get warm all of a sudden because our blood is just pulsating through. We might be a little bit angry at times because we're processing those deep seated emotions. And then we get heart palpitations or we get the urge to just get out there and do a physical project. Maybe we need to exercise. 
we have a tendency to feel that energy shift inside of our physical bodies and we will likely feel that in you know heat temperature changes and heart palpitations and little bursts of anxiety or restlessness that is mars being activated and then i also just want you to pay slight attention to what's going on in that heart space Again, we have that full moon in Leo really activate our heart chakras. We need a little bit of time to find our solid ground again. And where Venus is such a major player this week, and she is all about love and pleasure and joy, um, you know, that has to do with the heart chakra. So we are going to need to do some fine tuning in that heart chakra, in our heart space. We want to watch out for, you know, extreme feelings. So again, like we talked about, we can go from zero to 60 in no time flat. We can find heart palpitations. We can find a heaviness weighing in our chest, even on our shoulders, because that is the energetic weight in which we bear. So we just want to watch out for the energy that is circulating around our heart space. And of course, anytime that you are feeling ascension symptoms, it's always recommended to get into a grounding practice, which gets you back into your body, back into the present moment, connecting with the physical world around you, connecting with nature, run your hand hands under the water of the tap if that is your only thing that you can do. Go connect with an element that will bring you back into your body. It will present you in the moment. It will ground you into your energy until the assumption symptoms subside. So that is your energy forecast for Saturday, Sunday. My goodness, I'm ahead of myself. Sunday, January 31st to Saturday, February 6th. It is the very first week of February. I hope that you have a very, very easy and graceful energetic week now that you have a heads up. Again, I recommend you go check out the February Energies forecast, the Astro Tarot forecast, so that you know what you can expect from the month ahead. I want to thank you for tuning into this week's energy forecast. I hope you have a beautiful week and we'll talk to you soon.